I stole this idea from Thomas Heaton as payback because on one of the videos that he did like this, he stole my lens and that was totally rude. So this is payback. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna try to make a photo in one take. So Greg's behind the camera filming and I have never been down to this location because the gate's closed. But we just asked the camera guys that work here if we can go down and they said yes. So we're gonna jump the fence and we're gonna try to make a photo having never location scouted, having never been down there. And yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work. The sun's still way up, so I'm not sure it's gonna be a great photo, but we're gonna jump the fence and we're gonna try. So here we go, up and over the fence. You coming, Greg? Greg is hopefully not gonna fall on his face. Oh, it looks like, is there a trail? Yeah, there's a trail. I'll cruise down here. All the other tourists that are here, and there's literally a hundred, just watched us do this. And we're wondering if we're gonna get yelled at or if this is gonna be a situation where we go to jail. Like it was just a photographer that told us that who works here, not a security guard. So basically over here, you have this amazing arch with a temple on it and this pretty pristine beach. There's obviously been somebody here today because there's tracks on it but it's really pristine. And I wanna to try to find a composition by sunset. Well, hopefully before that, because this video doesn't need to be too long. Um, yeah, like in the next five minutes. It probably should have been with the sun behind um, the arch or like directly under the arch, but it's a bit of a hazy sky. So um, from an idea standpoint, whenever I come to a location like this, I see the subject, which in this case is the arch, and then I try to find a foreground to match it. And I have no idea what that foreground is gonna be because we've got limited time because this is all done in one take. Um, the rocks look amazing. The waves are a little bit far out, but Greg, you okay coming out here? Or do you wanna stay back there? He's good. Okay, so we're gonna cruise out here and yeah, like hope, hopefully we don't get arrested. By the way, guys, don't go to locations that you're not allowed to go to. If security says no, don't go there. If it says off limits, don't go there. But if you ask one random person and then they say it's okay, it's okay, you can blame it on him. Um, or blame it on Greg, I just blame everything on Greg. So, man, it's kind of nasty. It's like nasty seaweed, it is not pretty right here. Oh, this video might have been a grand mistake. Damn you, Thomas Heaton. Um, yeah, the like beautiful arch, it's absolutely stunning, but the location itself at low tide's a little bit rough looking. Uh, be careful on the rocks, Greg. I've got my water shoes on that I bought on Amazon. This video is not sponsored by Amazon. Man, dude, this is ugly. I regret everything. Okay. If you're bored, be sure to like this video and subscribe. If you're enjoying yourselves, feel free to unsubscribe. Oh man, this is ugly. Greg, what's the time on the video? We're only at three minutes and 35 seconds? Okay, let's sit here and have a chat. So this one time, uh, no, I'm not gonna tell a story. Oh, so this is what I want. See how the waves are starting to roll up here? You can create some motion and you just need a foreground element like this. So I think this probably could work if the waves keep coming up. But man, it's really heavily backlit. So I'm gonna open my camera bag. <laughs> Greg almost fell. Don't fall, Greg. Uh, I'm gonna open my camera bag, gonna take the tripod out. Full disclosure, I broke my tripod. <laughs> I uh, don't ever clean it when I put it in the sea and one of the screws rusted out and it's bad, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I broke that leg of the tripod playing monopod baseball and the other legs rusted out. So this might be a little bit ugly. I kind of want these three rocks in the foreground to lead that way into, into the arch. So I think I'm gonna set up like this, maybe get a little bit higher. Don't mess around with a broken tripod, guys. It sucks. It is not fun. 
I'm going to get this fixed tomorrow, I swear. Um, the tide's dropping, so we don't really have to worry about it coming up at all. Something like that might work. Just going to the camera bag. I think it's probably 16 to 35, but I've got a 24 to 70 on. Let's have a quick look through the camera. Oh, it's definitely gonna need to be 24, uh, 16 to 35. Or is it? Switching to, I shoot most of my landscapes in, in manual mode, but it don't feel like you have to. It doesn't make you cool to shoot your landscapes on a certain mode. Aperture priority mode works, TV mode works, whatever gets you the shot. So um, yeah, just realize the problem with this happening. Oh no. I just switched filter systems to the Nisi system. And I don't have, oh, I did put it on. Yeah, okay, so I switched to the Nisi system the other day in the video you saw, and I thought I forgot to put the adapter ring on, and I didn't. Turns out I'm a genius and I didn't even know it. So, screw that on, wipe off the element the good old-fashioned way, pop that on there. Still getting used to this system, and uh, also I suck at life. Oh my god! Okay, so 16 to 35 is on. The <laughs> filter system popped off. Ah! What's the time, Greg? 6.50. 6.50. Man, what am I doing wrong? Maybe it's not unlocked enough. It wasn't unlocked enough. So I haven't decided if I want to go vertical or wide here. So usually I do this before I put it on the tripod, but I'm frantic today. Uh, what do I do? I think I want to go vertical. I shoot a lot of vertical because my background's kind of in magazine newspaper and you were trying to shoot, you were trying to get the cover image because you were super narcissistic like me and uh, the cover images are vertical. Nowadays because of social media a lot of clients are looking for vertical images as well. Uh, so it works. Super, super backlit. Like, I'm going to need to bracket, but on top of bracketing, I'm going to use filters. And judging by the sky, it's going to be either a four-stop ND or maybe the four-stop reverse grad. I'm going to probably look at both of them. This is the other thing. A lot of people always ask me, how do you know which filter to use? You use your clean one. You, you don't need to know before you put it on. You can trial and error. I mean, it only takes a split second to unlock the new filter system you're getting used to and then sliding one in and having a look and trying to decide what it looks like. So we're at F16, ISO 100, and a quarter second. It looks pretty good, but man, it's super silhouetted. So I'm gonna try the reverse grad, although I don't think that's gonna help the silhouette, but I'll explain why I'm gonna do it in a second. So this is also a Nilsi, Nissi reverse grad. I've had this filter for about a year. I'm gonna put it in the second slot. Oh yeah, that's better. So the Nissi filter's in the second slot, and now I'm gonna put a six stop in. I think normally I would actually put a three stop, but I was lazy and didn't bring, oh, I did bring my three stop. So I brought my three stop, because I'm a genius. And that should bring me to about a, a second or two seconds. So F11, two seconds, that's the money. And then now I'm literally just trying to find the focus on this rock. I'm tapping the focus. I got a little bit too much water in here right now. So I'm just gonna wait for a wave. This video is not sponsored by anybody, but if I was Thomas Heaton, I'd be saying this video is sponsored by Square. I don't know, I'm done. No more mocking Tom. He's a good man, no matter what other people say about him. What do I do while I'm waiting for a wave, Greg? This one uh, shot video idea is just a terrible idea. I don't know how Tom does that. Stupid. 
Okay, here comes a set of waves, I think. I'm at F11 two seconds, which is probably too much. So I'm gonna go ISO 200 and drop down to a second. And I'm just gonna wait for this wave. You can see it coming up. And I'm actually gonna take multiple, ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. The wave didn't make it. But once the wave does come, hopefully white water will hit it like this. And then I'm gonna hit multiple shots, except I left the two second timer on. And that was the perfect moment. But I find that one, so I'm switching off that. Oh, I'm so frazzled. And then I just kind of spray and pray, to be honest. So the water's now too high. When this next wave comes, it should do the trick. And then I just spray and pray. So it's taking these one second exposures. And honestly, the reality is you're just hoping one of these ends up looking cool. It's not rocket science, it's photography. And sometimes photography is luck. You kind of plan for it, you figure things out, and then you hope you can make it work. I wanna wait for one more wave because I think that wave was actually too high. I'm also not loving this composition, but gonna roll with it. This looks like the perfect wave maybe here, so start spraying and praying. Hopefully that timed it right. Let's have a scroll back here quick. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. That's almost exactly what I wanted. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to not end it there. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, simply take another image at, oh, I'm gonna take the grad filter off, keep the exposure the exact, well, not the ex exact same, but keep, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to just take this filter out and basically take a second photo focusing up here on the rocks and that's F11 one second. And that way, if I need to get some data from this later, I can blend these two images together and then I don't have that really heavily backlit silhouetted image. I, uh, I'm gonna work on this more right now, but I'm gonna show you the photo I just took, the way I took it. And then I'm actually gonna wait until the sun comes across the sky potentially and find a new uh, location where I might get some orange sky in the background. So this is the photo I shot, one take, without ever scouting this location. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you whatever I come up with. It might be better, it might be worse, who knows? But I'll leave you guys with that and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.